Now, uh, perhaps <laughs> the face says it all, that expression of sheer joy. The reason? A South East London club that you may not have even heard of have achieved the almost unthinkable and are getting ready for the biggest match in their history. Harry Lowe reports. Here's Lisby. That's a good ball. It's in! Ten days ago, Cray Valley Paper Mills drew one all at Charlton, a team 114 places above them in the football pyramid. Look at the scenes in the away end. Now the roles are reversed as Charlton head three miles down the road to a team in the eighth tier of English football. Tonight's match is the first sellout in the club's 104 year history. So a lot of people didn't want it to go to a replay. Obviously, we're not, we're not built and we're not set up for this caliber kind of game. But yeah, I mean, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. The community's on side now. A lot of people are getting involved. So you can ask for more. There were just 170 Cray Valley supporters for Saturday's win against Erith and Belvedere. Nearly 10 times as many fans will be inside the ground tonight, hoping to see what would surely be the greatest upset in FA Cup history. At the school across the road, excitement's building as kickoff approaches. It's a really big underdog story, and we've really sort of bought into that and having it like I said across the road from us locally is really important and for the local community we're all sort of buzzing really looking forward to the game this evening. It's really big especially because of where, where, where the school is uh, relative to where the stadium is it's really uh, it's massive a lot of people are, are going to be talking about it whether you support Charlton or whether you support Cray Valley or not. Even though we might lose it will still be an amazing night for how far we've come. Is there anything else you want to say about tonight's match? Come on you Millers! Links between the clubs are strong. Cray Valley's social media manager has played and worked for Charlton in the past. Charlton underestimated us in the first round um, and they were punished for it. Having to come to a non-league side where you don't have the fancy dressing rooms, you don't have the great lighting. Um, we're playing on, on a pitch that is a tier eight non-league pitch um, and they're very close to the fans and there will be a lot of Cray Valley fans here this evening. Regardless of the result, for many here, the magic of the cup lives on. Harry Lowe, BBC London. Well, ahead of tonight's kickoff, Chris Legg is pitch side at Cray Valley and has been soaking up the atmosphere. Well, there's more media here than has ever been present at this ground, and there's going to be 1,500 fans in here come kickoff. It is the biggest night in the history of Cray Valley Paper Mills. And I can speak now to a man who's been associated with the club for 42 years, the general manager, Steve Chapman. Steve, have you ever known a night like this? No, um, I've been down here all day. It's been manic all day. And I think it's going to be a manic all night as well. It really is. Yeah. We can see what it meant to the, the team and the players after that match at the Valley ended in a draw. What's been the response from the fans in the, the 10 days since then? It's been overwhelming, you know. We, we need to build our fan base, and I think it's going to kick off tonight. It really is, you know. Amazing result. We had 2,000 people um, at the Valley. Um, looking down at that, that fan base was brilliant, you know. So we just went another couple of hundred to get them through every week in the in the league matches, yeah. And there's prize money, there's TV broadcast money. Do you know how much the club has made, and what does it mean to a club at this level? Well, um, we, we don't know, haven't worked it out yet, but we, we're probably, because we've got um, sponsorship as well coming in as, as well, and probably over the £100,000. And the manager, Steve McKim, he's a taxi driver, your longest serving player, Denzel Gale, is a building site manager. Have the team even really had time to get ready properly for this match amongst their day jobs? It's been really good. We've had a game uh, in between as well. We won the league game 3 0. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Well, Steve, we'll let you go and get ready for this huge no, night ahead. Yeah, yeah, uh, just to say, live coverage, of course, on Match of the Day, kick off a quarter to eight. And the BBC Radio London has a special sports show uh, broadcasting live from down here until eight o'clock tonight.